585 horsepower, yes, Kia EV6 GT is in the house. <laughs> I have it for one day. Uh, Kia Germany gave me this car for one day. It, it got delivered yesterday, late afternoon. It's gonna pick, we be picked up tomorrow. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, I'm doing all my testing today. We're doing 130 kilometers an hour range test right here on the highway, charging it full. And then later I want to do acceleration test, even though I can't find my draggy. I don't know where I put it. I hope it's at home. I will go home and look for it. I need it. <laughs> and the driving test and then difference to the normal all-wheel drive model and all of this. I want to do a lot of videos with this car. Um, but I'm excited. I already drove it a bit. It's fun. <laughs> 585 horsepower are fun. It has the same battery, 76, 75 kilowatt hours as the normal Kia EV6. Um, and it charges the same way. I plugged in at 80%, got 100 kilowatt. So we have 800 volt system. Charging is amazing. We have different brakes. You can see the yellow, bit greenish neon brakes in there and they brake strong and there's even a mode that you can switch from uh, extreme sport braking or not i have it on normal because i noticed that it's very sensitive then and you have more drive modes but we do the differences in a different video today it's about driving so let's get in and drive I'm on my way, I'm driving 134, GPS speed 130, I only drove 20 kilometers so far and as always first 10 kilometers are uphill. Um, consumption is a bit high right now, that's normal, we'll see it at around 100 kilometers then we can estimate what it is. Heat is on 22 and a half degrees and on auto it uses 700 watt. As you can see, battery care is not doing anything because before I drove to the charger, I preheated the battery with this button. The EV6 GT has a maximum power output button where your, cons uh, your, your battery is being heated up to have optimal power. And I want that. <laughs> and I wanted the battery to be warm. And I wanted to see how long that takes and everything. And in 30 minutes, it didn't go up too much. But uh, while I was charging, it went up more than it is now. But since I'm driving, it went back down. Yeah. I'm not doing driver only because in, in the winter it gets then too cold. Yes, it heats up your area, but the rest of the car is cold. And then, you, I don't know, it doesn't feel very comfortable. And I'm in eco mode, by the way. And I totally forgot this car has 21 inch winter tires on. 21 inch are standard on the GT. I'm at 75%, was exactly 79 kilometers that I've driven. That would mean 316 kilometers. I hope I calculated right. <laughs> Heat is still taking a bit over a kilowatt. It's three degrees out there. It was five when we started, so it's cold. Um, and winter tires and everything. Consumption 275. I had to slow down a few times for trucks. Well, that's how it is. That's how it is, but we're gonna go on. I'm gonna turn around very soon. I'm at 50% and I drove 146 kilometers. Full range would be then 292, so it went down. Uh, even though driving was even a bit slower, 
<laughs> because a lot more trucks and everything in traffic here it is the same um, it's now five degrees again that's nice a bit warmer but still um, it's comfy and um, I have to say driving driving the EV6 GT is not that much more different on a long distance than a normal all-wheel drive so it's not less comfortable the seats are different they're not electrical you have to adjust them manually they hold you in place w way more they have way more side support they're not slippery but they're still comfortable and uh, the seat heater because of the side support uh, is amazing it even it isn't it's already warm when you just sit in it without the seat heater <laughs> um, yes and I like driving it it's really comfortable in eco mode the only thing I find weird I can't remember if it was the same uh, in in the other EV6 is this so I have my cruise control 134 I'm in eco mode and when I accelerate and then get off the pedal it goes down to 132 and then accelerates up to 134 why <laughs> I get that in eco mode less power and everything but why slow slow it down to 132 so I don't know uh, it's possible I have the response time of the cruise control set to low or it goes with the drive mode and yes but still from 136 to 134 that's not less comfortable than going down to 132 so i don't get it but that's how it is yeah one thing i also have seen this maximum power button that it heats up the battery for maximum power only works above 70 percent state of charge then it's gone you can't switch it anymore I'm on my way back I have 66 kilometers of range 38 kilometers to get to the Georgia it's not a lot of safety here uh, yes <laughs> but that's how it is and I'm at 26% so with 26% I have 66 kilometers of range and this is the first time in a Kia or a Hyundai where I see less range than I expected <laughs> usually it's more and uh, you have to be careful uh, because the gasometer usually with Kia and Hyundai doesn't adjust very well and maybe it does it here also but because other people drove a bit more sporty with the car uh, it thinks that the consumption is higher but it's fine I uh, hope I arrive with 15% or so in the last 36 kilometers here and then we'll charge a bit and see if the charging curve is the same as in a normal EV6 it should be but it has to be shown because it's just amazing I arrived with 11% car says 243 kilometers I know that this uh, uh, leg should have been 244 kilometers consumption 276 watt hours per kilometer I drove 2002 minutes so the average speed should be 121 kilometers something like this I calculated the full range and it would be 273 kilometers I drove the normal <laughs> all-wheel drive in the summer 
It was 22 degrees, no heat, a bit of AC, and I had 300 kilometers of range. So it's totally fine. <laughs> Even with the 21 inch, the other one had 20 inch wheels, but it's cold. We have the heat on and everything. It's totally fine. For this amount of power and what you get, the range is totally fine. I'm on board with it. Gonna look at the charging. Yeah, totally normal in the beginning. You only have around 125 to 128 kilowatt, but then the charging curve will go up to 230 kilowatt and above. The amps will go up and everything. It will be fine. I show you when we're there. It will take a bit. Battery has to warm up and then it will give it the full power. And important, uh, I have charged this car, like I said, at 80% with 100 kilowatt. At 50%, I had over 200 kilowatt. So you don't need to plug in at a certain state of charge. So it doesn't have to be under 15% or so to get full charging power. That's just awesome. It's a charging monster and it's a power monster, this one here. And we're gonna drive it a bit more sporty in a second. I'm excited. And there we go, 204 kilowatt, it uh, started at 30% or so. And it's gonna go up, it's still going up 205. Yeah, charging is not that amazing today. I'm at 90 kilowatt at 82%. And it's still 22 minutes to 100%, but who charges that long? Um, and I only got to 204 kilowatts, so the battery is cold. And I navigated to this charger, so when the battery would be really cold, it would preheat the battery. But I couldn't do that power uh, preheating there, where you get more uh, warmer battery. It's just the temperature. In the summer, it's way better. And there's always a trade-off if you preheat the battery. If you want the perfect charging power, then you also have higher consumption on your route. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye.